One of the best parts about summer is summer vacation. It's a time for fun and relaxation for the entire family. For parents of kids with ADHD, it may not feel like a relaxation vacation is possible, but there are great ways to keep your child active, happy, and engaged the entire trip, and you can have fun too. Joining me on the shortcut to tell us more is Dr. Rebecca Jackson, the Vice President of Programs and Outcomes for Brain Balance. Hi, Dr. Jackson. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. So travel season is here. How can parents set up their kids for success on summer vacation? You know, I think one of the biggest things when you're talking about a child with ADHD or any developmental concern is to not over plan your vacation. We wait all year to go on vacation, so we have this tendency to try to cram it all in, which can be exhausting and fatiguing for all of our brains, especially after coming out of a pandemic year where we've had less in the way of sensory stimulation and engagement. So include downtime in your vacation plans for both the adults and kids, kids of just, or time of just quiet relaxation. And what travel tips do you have for parents of kids with ADHD anxiety or sensory sensitivities? You know, you want to make sure that you're balancing that technology use with physical activity. Technology is such a great thing to use while standing in line at Disney or traveling in a plane or a car, but we have to remember that that technology use can really fatigue the brain, and a fatigued brain gets tired and cranky. And so making sure that you're limiting that screen time usage to a shorter amount of time, maybe an hour, and then sandwiching it with physical activity on either side of that technology to re-engage the brain and those positive behaviors. And family vacations are meant to be fun and relaxing. Do you have any advice for parents on how to avoid the stress that comes along with planning it? You know, I think one of the things to think about, too, is eating and food. Stay ahead of the curve. We all get tired and crabby when we get hungry. And so making sure that you're feeding the kids before they get to that tired and, and cranky point and thinking about the sugars. We all love ice cream and lemonade on summer vacation, but it can really spike mood and behaviors. And so thinking about the timing for snacks and thinking about when you're doing sugar. Do sugar right before the kids are going to be able to run around free outside, not right before you're you're asking them to hold still at the dinner table. Very true. And is there anything else that you would like parents to know before they plan their summer travels? You know, it's absolutely such a great time to connect with your kids and family to make those memories. Be realistic in your expectations and enjoy that time with your kids. Such great information and tips for parents right there. Thank you so much for sharing, Dr. Jackson, and for joining us on The Shortcut.